Hello Aquarius here with a weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate with anyone who has Aquarius uh, strongly in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, and it could also connect in with people that are curious about Aquarius in some way. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and see what's here. Woo! A bunch of energy stuck there. Oh gosh. Um, we have the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands um, with some energy connected to them. All right. Two more Aquarius, just two more. <sighs> I felt that throughout the shuffling, um, it, it just came in, the energy would come in bursts. Um, let me see if I can figure out how I'm going to do this here. It doesn't fit the spread, so um, it's frustrating when the energy doesn't fit in the layout that I would like it to have. In Aquarius, this could be the energy that you're in in the next week to come. Um, so let's see what we have. We start you off with the star energy. You have the higher font. You have the queen of swords and the judgment energy here. So you have Aquarius right off the bat, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Judgment. And you have the Six of Pentacles over the top. That's really nice to see, Aquarius. Five of Swords here too as well. And then Temperance. Temperance here, here as well. Uh, we have the Six of Wands. And we have the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Um, okay. Well, Aquarius, there's something here in the beginning of the week, the first half of the week that you're doing, and you're doing it in a very dynamic way, in a very strong way. I mean, it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of strength, Aquarius, to be in the Six of Wands and to embody the Six of Wands. It's something that you're doing. You're stepping up and over some sort of obstacle that you've had, Aquarius. You are clearing that obstacle. I feel like this horse is a jumping horse. I feel like it's a jumping horse and there's some sort new height that this horse and the rider has jumped. It's like, it's not necessarily Aquarius that you have a new job or you have it and maybe you could have, there could be something specific here for you. But in general, there's some big hurdle that you are stepping into and you're stepping over in this first beginning of the week. Uh, I feel like it's going to go well for you, Aquarius. And uh, you, you might be using a lot of your strength. It might really be, um, something quite difficult for you. The Six of Wands doesn't have to be super fun, um, but it does take commitment. It takes passion. Uh, it takes a willingness to step forward and do something maybe that no one else is doing and or that's hard to do. And you're in that space. And I can feel the energy, Aquarius. It's really, uh, it's a strong, dynamic energy. Uh, it, it's a very Queen of Swords. Here's a Queen of Swords. Here's a star. I mean, this is very Aquarian. And this is not... Um, a soft energy. This is a very strong energy that I'm feeling. Um, you're coming into the week in the star, in the star Aquarius. So there's something here that you're doing that's truly a, a strength that you have, a strength that you've been given um, by the Creator. Uh, something that is very specific for you. Now, it could be something very general in the way you're getting along with people or in the, some invention that you have or a talent that you have that's very specifically for you. It could be artistic. It could be with a written word. Uh, it could be in, in speaking. Um, it could be in helping people in a humanitarian effort, something that you can do that's very um, fitted for you, very fitting for you. And it's something that you're doing after only realizing the potential, right? It's there, there is some sort of, uh, uh, new version of yourself in some way. It, it's, it's, and it does feel Aquarius that you're on a path 
you're on some sort of path or you're stepping into something here that is more than you've done before, something that's bigger than you've done before, or it's more serious than you've done it before. So you do have um, a joyfulness here, success coming in, uh, but it also comes with this very tenacious element. Uh, you might not even be very chatty. Uh, this first half of the week, you might be fairly solemn. You might be quite serious. Like it's a higher front, a higher font connected into it. So yeah, I do feel like you're going to be a powerhouse this first half of the week. And it's going to be something that you're doing because balance is needed. Fairness is needed. Also, uh, you're looking here at the Six of Pentacles, which is a really great space to be in. Uh, this is, this is really coming into your own now, Aquarius, and finding a way to balance it all out, uh, to make sure that your efforts that you're taking, the work that you're doing, um, it is being fruitful for you. It, it's coming towards you with something that is benefiting you, whether that's money, whether that's some sort of gifts that are coming towards you, um, whatever it is, uh, it, it's something that is benefiting you. And I feel like it's something that's benefiting you, not only because you have reached for it with your own personal will, but it's something that you're doing intentionally, taking on some sort of a risk or moving forward in some sort of a, in some sort of a front line position in some way. Uh, we have you uh, writing up into the higher font energy. So I do think that you have a system now. You have a belief in this. Uh, you, you know where you stand. Uh, you know the rules for yourself. And there is a, a season kind of energy, like a, a seasoned veteran kind of energy here. Like you've done this before. You know what you're doing. Um, you have the, this capacity and not everyone has it. It's for you and you alone, that kind of energy. But it comes with a seriousness that I feel uh, riding up into the higher font. So that it comes with a belief system and a, and a structure within and the higher consciousness that's connecting there. It looks like in the middle of the week or in the center of this reading, you have the five of swords. Um, there has been a, a dilemma. I would have to say there has been di a dilemma in the belief that you have possibly in the belief that you have, or there could also be a dilemma in what you're doing. I feel like there could be people around you who may not like the efforts that you're taking or may not believe in them or may have some sort of contrariness towards them with the Five of Swords. Um, the, the Queen of Swords is here connecting into the Five of Swords, and here you are as the week goes through in the Hermit energy with the Knight of Swords. I mean, I feel, Aquarius, that this is something that you have thought long about. I think this is something that you have long discussed Um whether this person around you or these people around you or the situation around you, whatever this contrarian kind of energy here, I'm going to go into the shadow. Let's see what kind of a shadow we can, geez, over, overly optimistic response syndrome. Go into the shadow here and see what we can find. The moral code enforcer. There could be people here who don't really uh, like your attitude. They might not like the optimism that you have. Um, they might feel differently about your endeavors. They might be an overly depressive response syndrome person. While you're the overly optimistic, they might be overly pessimistic. So you could have two people. You could have a glass half, a glass half full and a glass half empty kind of a situation here where two heads are butting together or uh, some systems could be butting together. And then you have the moral code enforcer, someone who believes something and feels like other people should as well believe in the same thing. Um, and that comes with some sort of a societal consequence to the, to someone. See if there's anything else. It just feels like there's a lot. It's going to affect you, Aquarius, in many different ways. And these are only just a few shadows. They're just ones that I've found within me and my family. So um, there's other things, of course. It's just uh, barely touching the surface here. But that's those are the two that are coming out. Um, two different factions that feel differently about the actions that are being taken. Um, we have the Hermit here with the Knight of Swords. So whatever this is, Aquarius, you've thought long and hard about this, and I do believe you're, you're moving forward and doing what you need to do. And you might be, you know, in, in the process of realizing that you could confront some sort of naysayer or some sort of 
um, controversy in the work that you do. I feel like there is probably controversy in the work that you do, Aquarius, because that's who you are. You are an instigator. You are a change maker. You're a, um, a, a thought provoker, Aquarius. And so whatever you're doing here, uh, you are kind of in, in many of you, many, many, many of you are doing this in a very Aquarian way, um, where there's really no option but to move ahead because you're in the star energy and that's your place to shine. And as you move forward, and um, there's going to be people here that, I mean, one way or another, they like to throw water um, on on the shine, you know, like they, they, they want to dampen, dampen the spirits. But I really feel, Aquarius, that you are strong enough now. See, the hermit with the knight of swords rides up over the five of swords, rides up over, rides up over temperance and moves into the queen of swords. So, Aquarius, I think you're losing patience. I think you've lost patience with this um, situation around and you're moving forward. Feet, feet on the ground. That's what I'm hearing. Moving forward, feet on the ground. Um, the rhythm is here. The pattern is here. Let's move it forward. Let's bring it near. Um, that kind of energy, it has a loping rhythmic energy to it. Uh, so I do feel like it's, it's something that like is coming in. It, it's very much of a, it's, it's on stride. Whatever you're doing, Aquarius, you're on stride. Um, and you're moving forward this week. And even though there's been some sort of a confrontation around you or some sort of intensity around what you're doing, I think you've thought long and hard and you have a way of moving now uh, that is, um, I think it's forcing it to move forward, whatever this is. I, I think in many ways, the argument, it might even be behind you. See how the Five of Swords is behind the Queen of Swords? I, I just feel like this argument is not even bothering you anymore, Aquarius. You're fed up with it. You don't, it's, it's like a mute issue. It's a mute issue. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. You don't care about the five. You don't care about the five. Who, whoever has the five energy, the five of swords energy, and has been an instigator or a slower downer energy around you, I, I think that that's just something that's, that's just part of the environment. That's just part of the situation. It's not stopping you from doing anything, Aquarius. In fact, we have you moving forward even stronger than before. Um, I like that the temperance energy is here. Whatever's going on, I think, Aquarius, that you understand why. Like, you understand up in the crown of, of who you are, of, of the bigger story, and you're understanding why this is happening. But um, as far as you're concerned, I think that you've thought long and hard and you might not have said a whole lot about it, but you are continuing forward and in a strong way. So nobody better fight you because you're going to be ready to um, a, a swivel that sword is what I'm hearing. Um, so, yeah, it's very rhythmic pattern um, of whatever's happening here. It's it's going it's it's it's. It's manifesting itself. You have the judgment energy here as you as you leave the week. So uh, I feel like um, the week's going to get much better. I feel like, Aquarius, I feel like the week ahead is going to be a good week. I truly do. Um, you might still have some of that fighting spirit left in you because of this Five of Swords, but ultimately it's going to be successful and um, you're going to be moving forward with a full heart, with a brave and courageous soul, and with understanding under your wings, you're going to be able to fly forward um, into a, a new um, kind of situation here that has been um, for sure a long time coming, Aquarius. So that's what we have for the week. Um, I'm going to clarify just a couple of these, these cards now. I kind of want to know, like, what is this that you're doing? You're up and out and... Out in front somewhere here, Six of Wands. Now, Six of Wands is a public energy, so people would be seeing you do this. It, this could be quite inspiring for other people, too. It could be irritating for other, you know, just as we get the people that we inspire, we get the haters, too, right? So um, I, I think you're just not bothered. You, you have learned how to cope with controversy and critique and feedback. I, I really think you're strong, Grace. Um here is the strength and the ten of spe uh, uh, spinnacles. <laughs> the ten of spinnacles, uh, strength with the ten of pentacles. You know how to find. You know how to connect in with your abundance, Aquarius. And um, this is really about your abundance. This is about your long-term planning. This is about having a lifestyle and um, having a home that's well maintained and and uh, and and contains within it easy, free living. Um, not free is in money free because we know that doesn't happen, but it's in a freedom that comes with living a certain kind of lifestyle and you're working hard to attain that. And I do feel like this, this is, you know, this could be about a project that you have or a certain kind of work that you have, but underlying underneath, it's about, 
um, you stepping forward and doing something that's creatively very much in your in your house. It's very much in is very much a part of who you are, and and understanding the abundance that could come with that, and sticking to your sticking to it, like uh, sticking this. The I have phrases that have been coming out, on Aquarius, and I am getting really tired of them. Now I'm starting to get some better ones that come through, but stick to your stick to your guns came here. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many uh, phrases that we have that are. Um, what's the, I had the last leg that came out, like the last leg, like to me, that's, oh, anyway, I'm getting, okay. I'm all turned around now. Okay. Of course, I got all turned around and got so into that saying thing that I almost have to reset myself here. Um, let's go into... Let's go into the Six of Pentacles. Let's go into the Six of Pentacles. Lover's energy. It needs to be a fair situation. But this is also something that you're doing when the energy feels right, when the situation is right, uh, when the balance is right. You're really learning how to flow the energy, um, staying calm and cool, not letting it get, get you, because you have two sixes here, this is harmony. Um, harmony in the actions that you're taking. Six of Wands with the Six of Pentacles, really beautiful. Uh, two Sixes, here's another Six with the Lover's Energy. And this is all about being in sync with your partnership or being in sync with the situation and making calm, rational decisions, making sure that they're fair and they're right, making sure that the money, that, that the money is right for the work that you're doing. I mean, from most of you, uh, it's going to be something like that. Um, it does have an energy of of like um, flamboyance to it or uh, energy of excitement. It gets you, but at the end of the day, like it needs to be fair. It needs to be fair for everyone. And um, that's really what you're attaining now in the week uh, that I'm seeing. Let's go into the Queen of Swords to see what the Queen of Swords has to say. What does the Queen of Swords have to say? And I think the Queen of Swords is you, Aquarius. Could be a partner, but I think it's probably you. Fool energy. You're you're doing so. You're wanting to do something new, and you are working on doing something new, Aquarius. Uh, I think doing this new thing is important for you, and you are on a journey and a quest to to achieve that. Knight of Wands. There can be a rush about this. There can be like a very excited energy, and it could seem. Um, to other people, like it could, it could be, um, like w without a whole lot of thought, but that's not true Aquarius because we have the hermit here. So I know that there's been thought, but it might come to others. Um, the way you're saying this, it might be Aquarius that the people around you might just not understand you. Um, they might not understand your excitement. They might not, not understand your path. Um, this is something new and, and something maybe a little bit risky that you're doing. And the people around you might not like that for you. They might want you to be much more conservative or much more fundamental in the approach that you take. But this is Aquarius. I mean, how are you going to, I mean, what's that old song that came from that old movie? What, what, what to do about Maria? What's that song? What, what to do about Maria? And it's what to do about Aquarius. What to do about Aquarius? All these Aquarius people have everybody around them with their arms up, flapping their hands, like, what do we do about Aquarius? Well, seems to me Aquarius has pretty good logic here and is able to carry forward is making some real changes in their lives. So uh, maybe everybody should just calm down and let's see what happens here. That's what it feels like. So with the Queen of Swords, there is maybe a little bit of rashness or there could be a little bit of... Um, uh, abrasiveness with what you're doing and it come it could come very quick and very fast to the people around you you could be very surprising to the people around you um knight of swords that is the knight of swords energy fast and furious and direct as heck um then again you do have this inner kindness and this softness and an understanding um that what you're doing is going to be hard and I think the people around you are probably seeing what you're doing here. Um, that's maybe harder than most. Let's, before I end and move to the extended, I want to look at judgment energy here. See what can come forward with judgment energy. Let me 
is for judgment. Two of Cups. A new kind of partnership. Oh, the sun in a big way. And I'm not going to take all these cards, but we have the sun flipping over. I think you're, you're moving on to um, a much better situation. I can tell that for certain Aquarius. Two of Cups coming to clarify the judgment energy. Friendship, trust between people, understanding between people. Queen of Cups. Health, tolerance, compassion, love and support. This is really where we're moving to Aquarius and where you would like to be um, and what is coming in for you, Aquarius, is a, a new respect, I feel, a respect for who you are, a respect for what you do, a respect for your connections, a respect for your mind. That's what's coming in here. And I feel like it's coming from around you, Aquarius. You are not only uh, moving forward in your life, but you are earning uh, the respect of the people around you and you're changing your life in such a, a beautiful, dramatic way. Uh, that I think even the people that at once looked at you with uh, side eyes, they might be looking at you with wide eyes right now, Grace, as you're as you're moving as you're moving forward. So, my friends, I am going to move into the extended now and look as how this energy will move into. We're going to pull money cards as well, and we're also going to be looking at love cards for those of you that are um, in this um, to win this with a partnership. Um, so, my friends. Um, that is it for Aquarius this week. I, I look forward to connecting in with you next week at some time. Um, and um, for all of you that are moving to the extended, I will see you there on the other side. All right. Thank you, my friends.